goedemiddag. Uh, ik ben uh, Gregory Erp, uh, Frans uh, fotograaf. En ik woon in Eibergen in de Achterhoek. En dat is mijn beste Dutch, so now I will speak uh, in English. So, uh, since I, uh, I live here in the Achterhoek, one year almost, um, I work a lot in the nature and I, I do a lot of pictures. And um, that exhibition in the Koppelkerk uh, was an idea to show to people in the Art Oak uh, what's my work, what's uh, uh, my uh, world. And uh, because, because I, I live here, so it's important to me to uh, communicate with people uh, around me. So um, I'm French, I was born in Paris in uh, 1969. Uh, I was living in uh, many countries before, in Africa, uh, of course, in Spain also, and uh, in Belgium, in uh, Antwerp. Uh, then um, I live now in, uh, in the Art Hope since uh, one, year. Uh, one year. It's uh, a family uh, uh, decision. It's uh, a specific work uh, in Cambodia. Mm -hmm. uh, I was there uh, at the demand of the um, um, very famous uh, former journalist uh, from the TV and uh, Marie Claire, the, new, the magazine in France, Tina Kiefer, who asked me for the 10th anniversary of um, her NGO uh, to go there and to uh, took pictures in black and white, especially in black and white. And the NGO saved a lot, uh, hundreds of uh, little girls from the, the child prostitution. It's um, fantastic uh, work and they save uh, actually uh, more than a thousand uh, girls they, they have uh, uh, several schools they pay absolutely all for that girls uh, till the, the graduation because they want to feminize um, again that country for me it was a lot of emotion because uh, I, I spent uh, weeks there uh, in the, the the smallest uh, school. Uh, it was uh, 30 kilometers from uh, Phnom Penh, the capital. And I was all the time with uh, the teachers and the girls, of course. And first of all, there was a little bit of red because, of course, um, a male uh, uh, from uh, Europe, uh, who's, that, uh, who's that guy? But um, day after day, step by step, um, the, the, the connection uh, uh, began. Then after that uh, it was uh, like a, a dream because uh, uh, I saw smiles again on their face. Um, they find a new hope in life in that, uh, in that school with that NGO. The name of the NGO is Tout à l'école, all in school. And uh, a lot of them uh, draw me uh, um, uh, things, uh, they, they, they give me a little gift uh, they made uh, by herself. It was uh, really cute. So it's uh, one of my favorite work because it was the, maybe uh, the, the, the most uh, the emotive, a emo lot of emotion, more, yes, intense. So in the art of of course, uh, I work. Uh, a lot because uh, there is a lot of space, uh, uh, the nature is uh, everywhere. And um, for example, uh, in, that, uh, in that picture, uh, all is dry, it was the, the last summer during uh, that uh, big uh, heat in the country. And uh, for me, it's like uh, in Africa, I, I was uh, several years in Africa, and it's like uh, the things I, I saw. And I never threw, I, I, um, I watched that uh, in that country because uh, for me uh, the Netherlands is the, the, the waterland. There is uh, water everywhere and uh, when you see that, uh, you can touch really the, the problem on the, our planet actually. Because if sometime we, uh, we, we can look at that uh, on, the, on a country like the Netherlands, uh, there is a big problem. But uh, for me, our talk is a little bit uh, more, and uh, it's really particular because, uh, of course, the nature is uh, beautiful, but uh, there is uh, something really weird. I 
happy. When I work and I uh, try to do something with my camera and the artwork, it's uh, like I'm, um, I was a little bit in a, uh, a, a series like a Twilight uh, Zone. You see? There is something weird. For example, with that, uh, that ships, I was walking, then they stop all and they follow me with uh, their heads with uh, high uh, dragons like that, a lot of lights in, uh, inside their, their eyes. It was really weird, but also um, kind of uh, fascinating uh, things. Uh, for that one also, I was in a car uh, um, and that car came uh, from nowhere, from uh, something like, uh, I don't know, maybe hell, maybe uh, a place a bit where there, there is a s all the time here um, an inspiration uh, really uh, strange for me. It's beautiful, but it's more than beautiful, and that's the most uh, important for me. For me, this is really art oak. I like that kind of uh, of landscape, that kind of trees. The trees are beautiful here, yeah, I think, always, and uh, the. I named that picture the Traveler's Tree because it's absolutely uh, that, uh, that shape. And uh, it was during the, the winter, uh, really quiet, the, 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 the mist everywhere. And uh, it was like uh, uh, majesty, uh, like a king uh, in the middle of, uh, of nowhere, that tree. And, uh, it remind me, uh, it's a kingdom everywhere. The thing with the, the, the gorilla uh, is um, uh, you have to be uh, really clever with them, really uh, humble also, because this is the most uh, dangerous uh, thing I ever pictured. You, you have to be uh, on your knees to, uh, to do a picture like that. Uh, 15, 20 meters with rangers, of course. You can be uh, on a jeep, on a, on a car, because uh, they live uh, uh, in, uh, in the, the forest. It was in Cameroon, that one. But uh, I have also uh, took pictures of gorilla in, uh, in the Congo, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. But this one is from uh, the Cameroon. I was afraid because uh, uh, you have to. Uh, to listen very carefully the rangers, they, they told me you have to be on your knees, you have to put your camera on the ground, um, don't look the gorilla right in the eyes because it can be a translate like uh, an aggression for him. And when you have uh, uh, things like that in front of you, you listen the ranger of course because it's all muscle, it's, uh, it's the so powerful but beautiful also. I'm uh, really happy to, um, to uh, always to, to take pictures like that because um, for me uh, in 20, 30, 40 years it will be possible to, to see that kind of animals uh, totally free uh, in liberty. Um, there is a lot of problem, of course, with the gorilla actually in, uh, in Africa. Um, less gorilla years uh, after years. It's the same with the, the lions. In, in fact, scientists uh, uh, said um, there is a risk for the lions uh, for an, uh, a total extinction uh, during the, the 50s. So it's really close. Uh, the work with the, the lions is a little bit different, of course, uh, in Kenya, Tanzania, Namibia, especially, uh, because, of course, you have to stay on a car. Uh, you can imagine uh, the, the, the danger with uh, that kind of animals. But um, for me, the important things with that kind of animals, also with the rhino, the, the elephants, zebra, is to, uh, to, do, uh, to try to do portraits like human portraits. Because inside their eyes, I saw uh, 
a kind of um, humanity, mankind, and we we lose our uh, mankind, and maybe we have to uh, to look inside the eyes of the animal to to uh, to have uh, that humanity back, uh, and they are all in danger. Uh, all that uh, spaces, the white uh, Reno also is uh, in, uh, it's a mess huh, for that kind of, of animal because of the, the, the smugglers, the, that kind of things. Yes, yes. The, 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 the sportive hunt, let's say sportive hunt. I was um, a lot in Africa during uh, seven years. I was. Uh, in the east and uh, the west side of the Africa, in Kenya, Namibia, Tanzania, Senegal, Guinea, uh, Guinea, also. So this is the the shoot of the, my work in uh, in Belfast with the IRA. Um, for me, Belfast is a really uh, very special place. Uh, I was there, uh, first of all, to do pictures about uh, the murals, the political murals. There is a lot of murals uh, on, the, on the houses when you, uh, when you leave, of course, the, the city centre. Because the city centre in Belfast is like all the city centre in Europe. Huh? There is a lot of tourists, museums, etc. It's nice. Okay, but when you leave the city centre, you have um, a lot of neighbourhood Protestant, Catholic, Protestant, Catholic, Protestant, Catholic. And between all that neighborhood, you have armored doors like that. The British uh, uh, army built that armored door during the 70s. But actually, and people do not know that, actually, every evening they close that doors between all the, the neighborhood. Catholic and Protestants. And sometimes uh, a Catholic or Protestant threw a cocktail Molotov uh, over the, the doors. There is a lot of troubles, again, um, they, still, uh, they still fight, but uh, uh, people don't care actually because there is uh, so many new subjects to talk about. But um, when I was in Belfast, uh, uh, a morning I was in a, a bar and like in a movie uh, all the person inside stopped to, to talk and they look at me uh, okay well, I choose a, a table um, I uh, ask for a coffee the, the, the woman comes with a coffee without a word then uh, two minutes after that uh, a guy uh, comes from a, a door hiding the door and uh, he asked me a lot of questions. Who are you? Uh, where do you come from? Why do you are here? What do you want? Um, I was a little bit uh, um, afraid because he wasn't, wasn't really uh, uh, kind, first of all. And uh, where do you come from? Okay, I'm from Paris. Yes, okay, but do you have a specific origin? Okay, I come from, my family came from uh, Britannia in, uh, in France. Ah, oh, Britain, they are like us. They want uh, their own country. And he smiled for the first time. Then I understand the guy, and I was living at, uh, at that moment in Perpignan, in the French Catalonia. And I said, and you know what? I live in Catalonia. Oh, Catalonia, like us again. They want uh, uh, their own country. Then he starts to, uh, to talk to me uh, kindly. He, uh, he told me about uh, um, the troubles, about uh, the Catholic side, of course, about uh, his uh, family stories. Then he, he said, uh, if you want, you can come back the next week and I can maybe open several doors for you. So. The next week I was uh, again in Belfast. Then uh, we met together and uh, he said, you want, uh, you want to take a picture of me? I said, yes, of course. And uh, I've done that, uh, that picture. In fact, that guy, after he, he told me, was um, the chief uh, of uh, the 
weapons traffic between the USA and Belfast during the 90s and the beginning of the 2000s. So it is a, a very uh, strong person in the, in the IRA. And he's always in, uh, in Belfast with uh, a lot of uh, shop, bar, things like that. And, uh, uh, people respect him, but uh, I think people uh, are a little bit afraid also. Because it, he's a special guy, very kindly when, uh, when he accepts you. But uh, I've seen uh, a lot of things everywhere uh, in the world, but in Belfast, I never saw so many weapons. There is weapons everywhere. That guy, for, uh, for example, that boy, is 17 years old. He had a nickname, Jack Daniels, because uh, he thinks it's uh, really uh, uh, romantic, maybe, some, mm -hmm. something like that. And he's always with uh, that weapon. But he stay in his own neighborhood, the Catholic neighborhood in False Road, and he never go outside. And the British uh, police uh, um, never count in that, uh, in that area. Oh, not, not really often. But uh, during my, uh, my reportage uh, in Belfast, I was also in, on the other side, because uh, it's, it was interesting to to, uh, to talk with uh, um, the Protestants also, the, the other side, because of course you can't uh, accept one side of the story uh, without the other side. So it was uh, quite uh, interesting, but you can see uh, all that weapons, uh, uh, that kind of guy uh, uh, in front of the, the, the murals for the, from the, the Balibar Fema Cyprus. They talk um, a lot, but uh, um, it's important to have somebody who open the doors for you, because uh, without that, it's impossible to uh, to talk with uh, with that kind of people. Wow. Belfast is a very specific and uh, particular part of uh, Europe, and for them, the um, in, uh, in two thousand. Uh, 18. There was a um, full of uh, hope um, with the, the Brexit. In fact, we talk a lot about the, the Brexit actually, but for them it was the last chance to have their own um, unity with the other islands because they want to stay inside Europe to be. Uh, a normal country, they say normal country. On my bucket list there is a lot of things. <laughs> I would like to go to uh, Madagascar, in the north of the island, because this is uh, the only place on earth uh, where uh, people uh, kill the twins when they are born. Uh, because uh, of an ancient... How do you say? In uh, croyance. They believe in an um, ancient uh, story about uh, uh, twins are uh, a kind of uh, uh, devils. Yeah. So it's a, a subject uh, uh, important and nobody talks about that. Uh, I would like also to, uh, to go back in uh, Scotland to uh, finish uh, a work there. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, to do a um, specific uh, work also with um, um, the gay com community, maybe in, uh, in the Netherlands, with um, specifically the, the, the shimmels and uh, the drag queens. It's an open goal if uh, <laughs> you know um, women, uh, shimmels, etc., who want to, uh, to do something with me. Uh, I'm, I wait for that uh, since a long time. It's uh, a subject I, I would like to, uh, to work on. Uh, then uh, there is uh, again uh, a trip I would like to do in, uh, in Cambodia again um, about the monk, especially the, the young monk, 
because uh, there is a lot of problem with them. Um, most of the time uh, we love monk, we love the, the, the Buddhist monk because uh, um, they have a nice image. Uh, uh, we think they are wise and uh, kindly, but in Phnom Penh, uh, particularly, um, the ancient monk uh, rapes a lot the young monk. And it's a subject, uh, never talk about that again. I like uh, to talk uh, about things uh, uh, we didn't know nothing 